Hello, Hofstra fans. I'm Stephen Gorchov, and I'm joined, as always, on the W. Mason Coach Report by Hofstra head coach Mike Fairley. Mike, how are you today? Hey, Stephen. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Uh, well, uh, it's been a it was a good weekend for your program. Uh, weekend sweep of the Towson Tigers in CA play. Uh, give me your overall thoughts on the uh, weekend that was in Pride uh, basketball. Yeah, certainly. You know, it's it's hard with these back to backs. Uh, you know, to be able to come out of any of these weekends with two wins is is pretty good. Um, you know, in a tough physical team like Towson is, in addition to having some some pretty skilled guys, uh, you know, we'll certainly take it. I think we had pretty good toughness overall. We certainly know that they've always been one of the top rebounding teams, not just in our conference, but in the country. Uh, it's, you know, one of the things that they're known for. And, and we did a pretty good job on the glass for most of the weekend, little pockets here and there. But overall, I think we showed uh, that, you know, the toughness level that we have. Uh, you know, we did a good job, especially the second half on Saturday, made shots, um, had a great start. You know, Tariq obviously got us off to a great start on Sunday, uh, you know, had had one of our lulls, but we're able to make the plays down the stretch to, to get that win as well. So, again, to, to leave 2-0 on the weekend is pretty good. Mike, it's my un, unresearched opinion here on this one, but it seems as though the CAA has had less sweeps than nationally we've seen. I don't know if you think uh, the same, but uh, even whether that's true or not, how important was it to get a sweep in conference play? Definitely. Yeah. Especially at home, you know, too, is because, you know, I guess the old, I, and I attributed to John Beeline because that's what coach who coach would always attribute it to, but he'd always say, you know, if, if you win your home games and half of your road games, you're going to be in contention to win your conference. So, you know, winning those home games is, is important. You know, we did drop one in Northeastern, unfortunately, um, but we've taken care of business in the other one. So, uh, yeah, you know, I think we can build some some good momentum. Uh, you know, we're still learning how to navigate through some of these back-to-backs and what you do for recovery, what you do in terms of adjustments, how much you can, uh, you know, make adjustments in between those games in like a walkthrough type of setting. Um, but, but certainly really good, uh, especially in a league that's, so balanced and so many teams are in and around 500 to be able to get both is, is a great step. And your uh, two offensive stars showed, showed their worth to you at different points this weekend, the second half on Saturday for Jalen and the first half for Tariq on Sunday. Uh, what did you see from each of those guys in those games? I was really impressed with the way that Jalen uh, recovered from having a bad first half, not scoring uh, in the first half. Um, and then the way that he played in the second, you know, kind of carrying us to victory and, and getting us some separation in that one. And then Tariq, you know, he just got going on one of those streaks, which was great. And we were able to ride him for a little bit. You know, and the biggest part, we got Tariq a shot early. You know, we were running our first offensive set for him. Uh, and he made a three on that play uh, on the second possession that we had, uh, which was great to kind of get him going a little bit. We had some stuff for him. But, you know, the biggest part for Tariq, too, we were able to get some stops and then get out and run a transition where you can't necessarily find people, stuff like that, and 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 hone down on them. So uh, Tariq was able to get some good looks in transition and kept cashing in on them to, to get us a little bit of a lead there, which was great. And he didn't win rookie – well, Tariq did win player of the week, but uh, Kayvon didn't win rookie of the week, but he really had a solid week. And your uh, freshman sensation, you know, my opinion, the best story in college basketball this year, he, he really contributed in a multitude of ways, shooting, rebounding, offensive rebounds, some block shots. Uh, what, what, what can you talk, give us a little bit of opinion here about what you saw from him this weekend and how valuable he was to those two wins? Certainly, uh, you know, first and foremost, making shots, you know, which he ha hadn't done in, in game settings uh, that way. You know, we've seen it in practice a lot. Uh, you know, he's been making a, a whole lot of shots, you know, just hasn't kind of translated to, to game action and game speed. So he goes five for seven from three over the weekend, uh, over the two games, which is great, adds a dimension to our team and obviously to him individually. Um, you know, if, if he's going to make some threes now, he's going to become even more difficult to uh, to, to guard. And, and we've seen that. We see that every day and every week in practice. Uh, and I'm glad that, you know, he finally was able to, to make some in a game. Um, you know, the way that he's able to rebound the basketball, uh, you know, contribute defensively. He's turned himself into an, into an unbelievable cutter and obviously offensive rebounder. So just rounding out his game. And that's, you know, a credit to him doing a lot of skill work, staying in the gym, uh, getting extra shots up, getting extra free throws up. And he, and he knocked those down, went four for four down the stretch, or, you know, yesterday. So making key plays at key times. So he's growing. He's continuing to get better. we got to keep him uh, keep him headed in that direction. I'll give you one. I'll give you a quick, uh, put you on the spot here. I asked Coach Curtin the same question yesterday. Give me your favorite dunk of his so far this year. Oh, boy. Okay. FDU, William & Mary, Towson, or the Delaware putback? 
I think William and Mary. Okay. I think William and Mary. That was that was pretty vicious. So, <laughs> and we got a, that great picture of it. We got to get that picture blown up in the office because that's a, that's an all timer right there. So moving ahead, your team nine wins in the year, five in CA play. You're you're in a good place right now, won three straight, but you head on your first real road trip of the year this weekend uh, down to UNCW, one of the great rivalries of Hofstra basketball. Uh, your thoughts heading into a, uh, the two game series against the Seahawks. You know, the first part about that's interesting is it'll be the first time that we're getting on a plane. Uh, you know, I personally haven't flown since last March 1st uh, on a recruiting trip, which, you know, as a college basketball coach is very uncommon. But, you know, so we'll go through that experience and obviously playing the back to back on the road uh, down there, uh, which has always been an unbelievable environment. It'll be weird with, uh, I guess, limited people that they, they might have there. Um, but, you know, really good team. Uh, coach Siddle's taken over there. He was a former coach, uh, Kevin Keats. Uh, who we certainly had many battles with, uh, you know, several years ago, but uh, former assistant for him and was there when UNCW had a lot of success those last couple of years. So they do a lot of the same, you know, they'll press and, and do some things that way. Uh, but he's done a really good job in his first year. They got some good talent, some good shooting, and uh, we know it'll be two really good tests. And what's the keys to victory this weekend? You know, I think handling pressure, uh, you know, they can look, give you a couple of different looks uh, defensively. Um, you know, so we'll be needing – need to be uh, able to adjust to, to however they're going to come out and play us, um, you know, but, but just coming out and doing what we do, you know, can we maintain this energy that we've had, do it on the road, do it in a foreign environment and do it when you've had some success, you know, when you've had a couple of wins, it's easy to, you know, recover and play with great energy after you lose a game at Delaware, you know, and, and you know, steam's come or is coming out of the coach's ears and the players are mad and they're playing with a chip on your shoulder, but can you have that same sort of energy and effort after you've won a couple of games? Uh, you know, so that'll be a key and, uh, and certainly hope we can do that for, for this weekend on the road. Well, Mike, uh, we wish you good luck this weekend down in uh, North Carolina and as always, Hofstra fans, thank you for joining us today on the W. Mason Coach Report with head basketball coach Mike Fairley.